Hello all Dan Safarians, today we are beginning a new segment called Let's Google Sea Animal Facts. Okay, so let's get started. The first one right here, let's take a look at the Great White Shark. Okay, so this is a Great White Shark figure. So let's Google some facts about the Great White Shark together. Okay, so I've actually done it right over here. And the first fact right over here it actually says, Great Whites are the largest predator fish on Earth. So this is actually one of the largest predatory fish on Earth. They are almost everywhere. Yeah, that's right. Sharks are much older than dinosaurs. Wow, I didn't know that. Sharks are older than much than the dinosaurs. So that's a pretty incredible fact, okay? So we're gonna read like five facts of each sea animal, okay? So another one, let's see. Let's see what is written right here. They have up to 300 serrated triangular teeth so that's pretty cool okay so that's the facts about a great white shark okay so let's move on and take a look at what other figures we have on the table this one right here is actually a megalodon okay so let's you know do some research on the megalodon right over here so let's go so i'm gonna search for megalodon megalodon facts and let's read okay so, some facts about the Megalodon, 10 fascinating facts about Megalodon, okay? So the first one actually says, Megalodon derives from Greek, meaning giant tooth. So that's pretty cool, alright? Most fish are exclusively cold-blooded, but the Megalodon may have been like today's great white sharks. They are considered partially warm-blooded, so that's pretty cool. Okay, the next fact right here, it says, okay, it's really small, but I'll just read to you guys, okay? With a mouth nearly 10 feet wide, the Megalodon may have the most powerful bite of all time. Wow, that's pretty cool. Let's just read one more last fact about this. Okay, right here. Since sharks don't have bones, most of what we know about Megalodon comes from its large fossil teeth okay so we are able to do some research based on the teeth all right let's proceed to our next fact of the day let's choose how about this one this is actually a moray eel so let's research about some facts about moray eel shall we okay um let me close this how do we get rid of this let's go back moray eel facts let's google some facts about this all right so it's written right here so let's read them they have two sets of jaws oh, wow that's pretty cool okay they are roughly there are roughly 200 known species of different moray eels so that's pretty cool the biggest one can weigh at least 66 pounds okay that's pretty heavy some have blonde teeth for eating hot shell prey so that's pretty cool as well most are nocturnal which means they are active at night so that's moray eel for you okay let's see what else we've got warriors let's reach some let's read some facts about the warriors so let's do a zoom in on this warriors facts let's do this all right so there are two main subspecies of warriors out there Okay, they weigh about a ton. Both male and female warriors have tusks. I didn't know that. Mother warriors are very protective of their young. Okay, that's pretty cool. They can live up to 40 years old. So around 40 years old, that's the lifespan of a warrior. So that's pretty cool for you. Let's proceed to the next one. What do we have right here? We have a sawfish. Yes, this is a sawfish. So let's go back to our computer and just type in sawfish facts. And let's do a read on this, okay? Let's read this. Sawfishes are rays, not sharks. Sawfishes are actually rays. I didn't know that. I always thought they are sharks. There are five species of sawfishes. This is one of them. They don't have teeth on the rostrum. Or their sauce. These are not, not considered teeth, I guess. You cannot legally buy or sell sawfish rostra. All right, cool. All right, let's proceed to our next one. How about let's pick 
a lobster right here. So let's Google the facts about lobster. All right, Google lobster facts. All right, let's see what is written right here. Lobsters were one considered the poorest man chicken. Lobsters aren't red. Then what is this color? Brown? It looks red to me. Lobster fishermen throw back lobsters that are too small and lobsters that are too big. Okay, so you have to find like the perfect size for the lobsters. It means a lobster's body must be at least three quarter inches to keep and can't be over five inches. So that's a very, very particular, you know, you know, size for a lobster to be kept. Next, let's read about hermit crab because I don't know much about, you know, the hermit crab. So I think it would be nice for us to um, take a look at the hermit crab. So let's Google hermit crab facts. Oops, I spell wrongly. So what are some cool facts about the hermit crab? So let's see. Do hermit crabs recognize their owner? Some hermit crabs even report that their pets, I mean the hermit crab owners report that the pets learn to recognize the sound of their owner's voice. Wow, that's pretty cool. Do hermit crabs die easily? To the caretakers, captive hermits may might seem to be acting normally, but over time, many crabs actually die slowly from suffocation. Wow. Because the modified gills require high humidity, high humidity to breathe. Okay, can hermit crabs breathe underwater? Hermit crabs breathe through modified gills, which means they can't, which means they need humid air to breathe. Hermit crabs can't breathe air and will drown in water. Wow! So the best way to maintain humidity is to provide an, an ideal enclosure. So that's a very, very interesting you know, fact. So I think the hermit crab is not easy to keep, I must say. I think let's just read about three facts because we don't have much time. So we have a manatee right here. So let's, you know, do some research on manatee as well. Manatee facts. Let's see. What do we have, okay? So manatee are like cow-like creatures thought to have inspired mermaid legends. Manatees never leave water, but typically come up for air for every five minutes. That's pretty cool. Manatees are more closely related to the elephant than they are to other marine creatures. Wow, I didn't know that. They're more closely related to elephants. Oops, let's take a look at the spotted seal. Let's just read one fact about the spotted seal, okay? So let's go. Let's Google spotted seal. Was this a leopard seal? Oh, this is actually a leopard seal. I beg your pardon. So let's Google leopard seal facts. Okay, so let's just read one fact about the leopard seal. 10 leopard seals. Okay, they are exceptionally solitary animals. So they basically live alone. Okay, so that's very cool. This is a narwhal. So let's Google some facts about the narwhal as well. All right, narwhal. Let's Google Nabil facts. Let's go. Okay, the first fact that I see right here is actually the tusks are actually a tooth. So this tusk right here is actually a tooth. So that's pretty cool. It's an overgrown tooth. Let's see. What do we have right here? A manta ray. Let's Google some facts about the manta ray together, shall we? Manta ray. Alright, one fact about the manta ray is that they, they, their spots are like fingerprints. Okay, so their spots are like fingerprints. So never, there's no two um, rays that have a similar patterns. Yep, all spots. Okay, let's go back to, how about this one right here? A blue spotted ray. So let's Google some facts about the blue spotted ray. Let's see, blue spotted ray facts. Alright, let's see. Let's just read one. How long do blue spotted rays live? Let's see. How long do they live? They live about 15 to 25 years. 
All right, so that's a new fact that we have learned today. What is this? This is a goblin shark. I don't have much facts about goblin shark, so let's let's try to Google this. Goblin shark facts. Let's see. All right, what is special about a goblin shark? Let's read this. Goblin shark's most conspicuous physical features are the long snout caught rostrum and the teeth. The rostrum is covered with special organs that help these sharks locate prey in the low light of their preferred habitat by sensing the electric field created by the other sharks, other fishes. How rare is a goblin shark? Wow. Less than 50 specimens have been officially recorded and described. Oh wow, so only 50 specimens have been found so far. That's, so that's pretty incredible. Next, we have a Mako shark. So let's read some facts about the Mako shark here as well. Mako shark. Just one fact we'll do because we don't have much time. So, all right. The first that we can find right here is that there are two species of Mako sharks out there. Only two. That's pretty few. A Marbury. This is a Marbury. So let's read some facts about the Marbury. Okay, let's zoom in. Marble Ray. Thanks. Let's see. Let's read this. What do Marble Rays eat? So they eat. What do they eat? They eat other Marble Rays as well. They feed on bottom fish. Oh, they feed on bottom fish. Bivalves, crabs, and shrimps. Right, right here. Okay. It's written right here. Okay, cool. Let's see, what else we've got? We have a whale shark right here. So I know that whale shark is a filter feeder, but let's read more facts about the whale shark. Whale shark facts. Let's see, what do we have right here? Let's just read one, okay? They are slow swimmers and migrate a long way. Yes, I've actually swim with um, whale sharks before in the Philippines. So they are extremely slow. What is this? We have a sperm whale. Okay, so let's Google some facts about the sperm whale as well. And the first fact that we read right here is that sperm whales can live up to 60 years old. So that's pretty cool. That's a pretty long time. We have a starfish right here. So let's Google some starfish facts. Let's go. Starfish facts. Let's see, what do we have? Let's just read one. They can regenerate. Wow, that's pretty cool, which means that if it loses like a part of the body, it can actually regenerate. So that's pretty awesome. Here we have a bonnet head shark. So let's read some facts about the bonnet head shark, okay? So let's go. Okay. Bonnet head shark. Let's see. Let's read some facts. We forgot to Google the word facts. Are bonnet head sharks aggressive? Let's read this. They are neither aggressive or dangerous to humans, nor do they bite. Owing to the size and shy nature, bonnet head sharks are considered practically harmless to humans with only one recorded unprovoked attack attributed to the shark species. So they are pretty docile, I guess. The left with two whales, this is the right whale. So let's take a look at this. Right whale. Facts. Let's see. All right, why are they called a the right whale? I think I always wanted to know this. The right whale got its name because it was the right whale to hunt. It moved slowly and float after being cute. A North Atlantic right whale mother and calf spotted the US southern coast by NOAA researchers during the 2020 breeding season. So they are called a right whale because they are easily hunted, I guess. Wow, that's a very sad piece of fact. This is a Grey whale. So let's read some facts about the grey whale as well. Let's see. 
Ray Wilfax. Let's see. Do grey whales do grey whales eat human? No, grey whales do not eat people. They primarily eat small aquatic life forms such as fish, squid, krill, and a few dolphin species are even known to eat marine mammals such as seals, sea lions, walruses, and whales. Okay, nice, very nice. So that's 20 facts. I mean, more than 20 facts about 20 different sea animals. Hopefully you guys love this kind of format because moving on, we are going to keep our channel more educational, okay? More educational for, you know, adults, for people of all ages. So moving forward, Dan Safari will definitely be more educational. All right, let me know down below whether you guys love this format because I love learning about new facts about sea animals. So yeah, that's all from me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.